Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover what composite numbers are. Now, composite numbers are whole numbers with more than two factors. Another way of thinking about it, composite numbers are divisible by more than two numbers. So let's go through six examples here together in order to better understand what that means and what composite numbers are. And we'll jump into number one here where we have nine. So we need to think of the factors of nine. Although not the most mathematical or technical way of thinking about it, all the numbers that go into nine, or the technical definition of factors, the numbers that multiply together to equal nine. So we know one times nine equals nine, so one and nine are factors. And we know three times three equals nine. So one, three, and nine are factors of nine. So nine has more than two factors, or it's divisible by more than two numbers. Nine is divisible by one, three, and nine, or think of it as, 1, 3, and 9 go into 9. So 9 is composite. So let's move on to number 2 where we have 7. And we need to think of the factors of 7. So what numbers go into 7? Or what numbers multiply together to equal 7? Well, we know 1 times 7 equals 7. And that's actually the only two factors of 7. 7 only has two factors. So it's not composite. If a number only has two factors, it's called a prime number. Now I have a video going into further depth on prime numbers. I'll drop that link down in the description. On to number three, where we have two. Now two is a unique uh, number here, and we'll find out why in a second. So the factors of two, well one times two equals two, and there aren't any other factors of two. So one and two are the factors of two. Two only has two factors. So two is prime, just like seven. But two is unique because it's the only even number that is prime. All other even numbers are automatically composite because we have the factors of one and the number itself. And then two is an automatic factor of all the other even numbers. On to number four, where we have 23. So 23, we need to think of its factors. What numbers can we use to equal 23? Multiply together to equal 23. Well, 23 only has two factors, 1 and 23. So 23 is prime as well. It is not composite. On to number 5, where we have 24. Now, we can tell that 24 is composite right away because it's an even number. We know that 1 is a factor, 24 is a factor, and then 2 is a factor. So right off the bat, we know that 24 has more than two factors, therefore composite. But we will list them out just to see how many different factors 24 has. So we know 1 and 24. Uh, so I'll put 24 over here with a little gap. We know 2 times 12, 2 and 12. We know 3 times 8 is 24. And then we know uh, 4 and 6. So I'll squeeze the 6 in there. So we can see that 24 has um, quite a bit of factors there. Um, and even if it's three factors, it doesn't have to be a lot of factors. If it's just more than two, it's a composite number. So 24, definitely composite. And lastly, we have number six here, 27. Now don't think that because 27 is odd, it's not composite and is going to be prime. Well, we need to think of the factors. 27 is actually composite. It's going to be composite because we know one and 27 are factors. But 3 and 9 are also factors. 3 times 9 equals 27. So 27 has more than two factors. Therefore, it's a composite number. So there you have it. There's um, the basics of composite numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.